Hey everybody, John V here from Phone Reno. Right now I'm taking a hands-on look at the BlackBerry OS 2.0 software, which was made available today. It's the latest and greatest, bringing the uh, playbook some much-needed features along the way, which some people say should have been on board since the beginning. But nevertheless, it's available here. Uh, you can pick it up right now. You'll probably see a notification on your tablet. Uh, if not, you can manually search for it, of course, through the settings. And it's a hefty update. It's 400, over 400 megabytes in size, so you'll need a really good Wi-Fi connection to get it. But we'll check it out and see how it is. Officially, there's nothing a big change with the new Playbook OS 2.0 software. It maintains the look and feel of its of the previous version. You have your app panel and the grid-like view. You have all the gestures in place, so nothing different about it. But you can tell here right up right off the bat below, you have quick access to some of the new organization organizer apps available with the Playbook. Uh, specifically, you have now a native email client. You have a contacts app. Uh, some improvements found in the browser, nothing much. A calendar application and, of course, support for Android apps. So let's start off with the new native email client, which is finally available without the need of a BlackBerry smartphone using BlackBerry Bridge software. As far as the interface, it's pretty much the same thing we've seen already. If you have a BlackBerry smartphone, it has that two panel layout, left being the content of your accounts, and on the right, just the actual email itself. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. Setup is a breeze. Username and password nine and 10 times it'll automatically set up. And of course, it follows similar to any other uh, tablet out there with its presentation. You could uh, you could you could scroll through, you could reply, all the functions you normally expect. It's a definitely appreciated thing, but it makes you wonder why it took so long in the first place to get this, seeing that it would have benefited right off the Next up on the list, we'll quickly show you the contacts application, which we mentioned already. It will actually aggregate your contacts from your services, for example, Gmail. And the interface is pretty much the same as before. You have the two panel layout, left being your address book and the right being the detailed information. You could search uh, by name on the top left by clicking the icon there. And on the right, you have all these other icons, which gives you some specific, specific items. Uh, for example, there's one here that will display all of the uh, recent statuses for their social networking accounts if you have them associated. For example, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook will be all, all in there. You'll have some company information and also some calendar events that are included. Rim mentions that there are some new things associated with the web browser, but when it comes to just the visuals, nothing really different about it from the last time we checked out the playbook. Still has an exceptional web browser. You get full flash support, very fluid and responsive, but nothing has really changed on the surface. It's probably mostly performance enhancements. The biggest thing that we do notice here is just there's this new icon on top left that looks like a book. You press on that and basically gets you into reader mode, uh, which allows you to read text a lot easier in this vertical view, you know, similar to to other tablets out there that have this function. Yet another new or organizer app on board with the Playbook Now is the Calendar. And we've seen this, you know, again before with the Playbook, the BlackBerry Bridge software. And the interface is very typical of any tablet. Two panel layout, you have your main view right here on the left and the right, just some listings here. You could go through either a monthly view, a week view, or a day view. And with the uh, monthly view, you could break it down to these tabs. You could check out by day. You could check also your agendas, people you have to meet with. With the week view, it has this really nice look of the entire week. If you want to expand a specific day, you can just tap on it and I'll be able to show you just just that. So it's pretty nice. And as far as just accounts, it'll sync up with things like Gmail if you have that already set up. So here's another new thing available with the uh, Playbook OS 2.0 software. It's a uh, print to go. Click on that. It'll allow you to actually print uh, documents or a variety of different things uh, on the uh, Playbook itself uh, wirelessly to a printer. Of course, you have to be on the same network and you got to set it up, but at least you have that functionality on board. On the productivity end, the uh, OS 2.0 software now includes docs to go from DataViz. So if you want to edit Word documents, Excel files, you'll have all that available to you right off the bat, which is pretty neat. So you could tell with all the functions, typical thing you find with any word processor out there, you have all the stuff up top. And it's just nice being able to edit stuff on. Yet another exciting feature found with Playbook OS 2.0 is the fact that it now offers Android app support, which should, you know, uh, expand the, the tablet's offerings, which is great. But unfortunately, it's rather frustrating to find out which applications are Android just because uh, they're not notated. So it's almost a hit and miss type of thing going on. But we already noticed some applications uh, are available right now through the app world that you could actually download. For example, the Dolphin, web, the Dolphin Browser HD you could download quickly show you that here. So if we run it, it's going to open up the application. 
Now there are two different gestures. You can do a swipe down from the bottom bezel towards the left. It acts as a back function, while a swipe down from the top will act like a menu. And here you could actually uh, you know, see the functions. There's this toggle here, which we think is uh, to maximize the display to give it a full screen view, but we really can't say it because it seems like it's already working here. If we go back here and exit out of uh, the Dolphin HD browser, it'll show all the uh, Android applications that we've installed on the uh, Playbook itself. So as far as the apps, you know, it runs just like you normally find on an Android device here. We do notice that it's, uh, it's performance a little bit on the sluggish side. It, who knows if it's whether it's just the application or it could be the Playbook or a combination of things. But hey, either way, it's an Android app that's running actually on the Playbook. And you can tell here you have a, a website rather choppy with its movement. Of course, the, uh, the uh, stock, uh, the uh, native web browser to the Playbook is a lot better. But hey, it is an Android application and it's running on the Playbook. And finally, the last new feature found with the uh, new software, which unfortunately we can't show off because we don't have a Black Bear smartphone on us, is the new uh, Bridge Remote Control and Presentation features found with uh, BlackBerry Bridge. So if you have a device, a BlackBerry smartphone, you could pair it up with the Black with the Playbook. And from there, you could use, like for example, instead of using the on-screen keyboard of the uh, Playbook, you could use the keyboard on your phone to type away messages. Or if you have a touchscreen-enabled BlackBerry, like the Torch or the Storm, you could actually use use the uh, touch screen to execute a variety of different gestures. For example, the normal ones that you tend to find, uh, you know, the swipe down feature with, uh, with a playbook, um, also the diagonal ones, and of course to minimize the applications. You just do those gestures uh, on your BlackBerry smartphone and you'll be able to do that. But that's pretty much it guys. That's all the new features with the Playbook OS 2.0 software. You can download it right now. It's available. Some nice new features, but it just still makes you wonder why it took so long for them to get this out in the first place. It would have benefited the Playbook tremendously if it was available at launch, but nevertheless, it's here right now. So if you'd like to learn more about it, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. This is John V, guys. Thanks for watching.